Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will be unboxing and reviewing the Herpa 1500 scale Cargo Lux Boeing 747-8 freighter model. This model is in the 50 years livery and the livery was made to celebrate 50 years of Cargo Lux operations as the airline was founded on the 4th of March 1970. This model was bought for me by my dad as a birthday present but it ended up arriving late but it still came and I'm really grateful for that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to have a look at the box, unbox the model and then have a look at the model itself. So here we have the front of the box and as you can see at the top left corner we have the Cargo Lux 50 Years logo. Here it says Boeing 747-8 Freighter 50th Anniversary with the numbers 1 and 500 meaning that this model is a 1 to 500 scale model. In the middle you get to have a look at the top of the model and at the bottom right corner we have the Herpa logo and at the bottom left corner of the front of the box it says Herpa miniature models except the phrase miniature models is in German because Herpa is a German company. Here we have the back of the box and as you can see in the middle you get to have a look at the belly of the aircraft. And at the bottom left corner, there's nothing really that exciting. There's just some legal stuff about this model saying how it's produced under license. Here we have the top of the box and here is some information about this model. At the top we have the item code and then it says Cargo Lux Boeing 747-8 Freighter 50th Anniversary and the registration of the aircraft LX-VCC. And next to the registration, we have the nickname of the aircraft, Spirit of Cargo Lux. And at the right corner of the top of the box, here we have the Herpa logo and the numbers 1 and 500. On the left side of the box, we yet again have the Cargo Lux 50 Years logo. Here we yet again have the same information about this model and the aircraft. Here we have the Herpa logo. And here we have a link to the Herpa website. And here it says true to scale aircraft model. On the right side of the box we have some writing that is written in German. But if you translate it to English it says true to detailed aircraft model. Here we have the barcode of the product. Here we have some writing displaying the link to the Herpa website. And up here we yet again have the Herpa logo. On the bottom of the box there is nothing really that exciting but there is some information displayed in English, German and four other languages. And it says in English, small scale and lifelike model for adult collectors, not suitable for children under 14 years. And below that there is some information about Herpa like where they're located, their phone number and their website link. So now that I have had a look at the box I am now going to unbox the model and these boxes are actually pretty easy to unbox. So I'm just going to do what I normally do and put my thumb between the gaps of parts of the box and then pull it out. They can make quite a bit of noise. And now all I need to do is just pull this bit of plastic from above where the model is being held. And remove these bits of plastic from the model. And there is the model itself. Now my first impressions are that it looks really cool and I really like it and I am looking at it both through the flip screen of my camera and with my own two eyes above the camera. And I really like the look of this model. So now that I have had a look at the box and unboxed the model I am now going to show you all the details of this model. Starting off with the tail section of the aircraft we have some lines which is where the nose of the aircraft opens up to allow access for bigger cargo loads. Above the nose cargo door we have the cockpit windows and an escape hatch for the pilots to use in the event of an emergency. Behind the nose cargo door we have some writing that says the aircraft's nickname, Spirit of Cargo Lux, 
and under the nickname it says, you name it, we fly it, which I believe is the slogan for Cargo Lux. And then it shows the Luxembourg logo because Cargo Lux is based in Luxembourg. Under all the writing we have the nose landing gear with the landing gear doors, although you can only see one of the landing gear doors which is no big deal. Behind the writing we have a door for the pilots and other crew members to walk through. And behind that door we have the Cargo Lux 50 years lettering and above the logo there are three windows on the upper deck of the aircraft. Here we have the left wing of the aircraft which has no slats but it does have engines 1 and 2 with the General Electric logo on them because GE are who manufactured the engines, the red navigation light and the flaps on the back of the wing. Continuing on to the back of the aircraft we have another cargo door and the aircraft type and the aircraft's registration printed on and the red tail which also has a white Cargo Lux logo printed on it. We also have the aircraft's two tail wings and the horizontal stabilizers, the exhaust which is the hole at the back of the aircraft, and the rudders which are on the tail. Something that you may have noticed is that from the Cargo Lux lettering leading to the tail section of the aircraft, there are red and blue lines, and the lines are most likely those colours because those are two of the colours that are on the Luxembourg flag along with white, which is technically not a colour. And what some airlines do is they choose the colours that are on their country's flag to be on their liveries to show people that's what country they are based in. Now moving on to the right side of the aircraft, there are only a few differences to the right side of the aircraft, and they are one other door for the pilots and crew on the upper deck behind the cockpit, one other cargo door near the front, a green navigation light on the edge of the right wing, the differences in numbers of the engines which are 3 and 4, and two more cargo doors near the back of the aircraft. And now onto the belly of the aircraft. Here we have the nose landing gear with the Cargo Lux logo next to it on both sides, the main sets of landing gear with the Herpa logo next to them, and the registration of the aircraft on the left wing. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about this model, and I really like this model, and my dad really likes it too, and I am so grateful to my dad for getting me this model, and it is definitely an important model to remember because it's in the 50 years livery. And I had also posted on Instagram and Twitter that the model had finally arrived and that I was going to be making this video, so if you want to stay updated on things like this, then go follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. The links to both of them are in the description of this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one whenever that one comes out.